And today I would like to pre present the research topic uh, which is where is the young generation? What type of social networks attract them? Presenter is uh, inshallah I would like to go by Rebecca. First, uh, I would like to uh, show today's outline. So let's look at the slide. First, I will make a brief uh, introduction, and then I will show the hypothesis. And next, I will uh, show the methodology and uh, present the findings. And uh, based on the findings, we have the conclusion. So first, uh, let's go to the introduction part. So to Nowadays, uh, people use uh, social media a lot, uh, like uh, based on the Google report in 2016 that 96% of Taiwanese people use the Internet every day. Based on the 2017 uh, Hootsuite survey, 84% uh, of Taiwanese people use the internet via smartphone and around 80% use a social network every day. So it's quite a uh, huge people use a smartphone and uh, use social media. So uh, we have uh, do a research that in Taiwan most people use Facebook around 82% and followed by Line around 90% and uh, Instagram about 40%. Uh, However, the facts indicate that the majority of young people, uh, here we mean uh, the age be ages between 18, 18 and uh, 24 years old, they access Instagram every day and that the population of Instagram users still uh, growing quickly. So uh, let's make uh, us uh, curious why young generations they want to use Instagram and uh, do they really uh, abandon the Facebook? So we just try to uh, use a survey to uh, solve this question. So next uh, we uh, will show the hypothesis model. So let's look at the next uh, slide. The study draws from the uh, expectation confirmation theory in from the information system. Uh, actually, uh, the Bonhoeffer in 2001 he proposed that per perceived usefulness could be applied to identify anticipated results because it inference not only user satisfa satisfaction but also their continuous intention. So um, we look at previous study, the mo most uh, rest, uh, recent research like uh, Chu and the King in 2011, they examined the relationship between social media and the internet word of mouth among 400 university students. The same year, King, he applied this model to investigate how university students around uh, the sample size are 280 used social media as a word of mouth tool and all of the results supported the hypothesis uh, and uh, the other uh, research uh, lay in 2014 14, uh, used the, the IS continuous model to study how people make new friends via Facebook and the results showed that perceived usefulness affects uh, satisfaction positively and the confirmation affect uh, perceived usefulness and the satisfaction positively as well. 
So uh, let's look at our hypothesis. We have uh, six uh, hypotheses in this study. The hypothesis one and the two uh, pre predict that uh, perceived ease of use positively influence perceived usefulness and enjoyment. And uh, for hypothesis three, four, and five, predict that uh, perceived usefulness, uh, perceived ease of use, and perceived enjoyment uh, all positively influence attitudes towards using Instagram. Last hypothesis six, predict that attitudes towards using Instagram positively influence intentions of using Instagram. So uh, next I will show the methodology in this uh, study. Uh, we use a survey in a university in Taiwan and then we adapt stra stratified random sampling method. So the first step we have to decide the sample size so we do this survey in 20, 2017 according to uh, the record in 2016. 10,999 students were enrolled in this university. We used the following in question and the, we found the minimum sample size is 385. Then for the second step, we use we control two variables which were gender and college. So a total of four hundred questionnaires were distributed, and uh, three hundred and ninety five were complete. So next, I will show the findings for the model testing. So for this slide, we can see. Uh, the goodness of it uh, is quite reliable and uh, the for the next slide we can see the result of the pest coefficient test all the hypotheses were supported so uh, for this study uh, we make the conclusion uh, we adapt the uh, IS continuous model uh, successfully and uh, through this survey we found the main reason why young people they use Instagram instead of Facebook uh, through this survey uh, young people said uh, they found the pictures are more attractive than words and uh, the most important is, is that parents do not use Instagram so they try to use, uh, they try to use Instagram uh, more often because they can share information via pictures. So for those reasons, we can find that uh, people use a smartphone and use Instagram. They do a, they do a lot for travel information search. So we can predict that uh, Instagram could be a powerful platform for information search. So this is uh, pretty much my uh, work. So thank you for your listening. Wish you have a good one.